and a very good Friday morning. Welcome back. We had those showers move through yesterday. Now most of us are staying dry at this point. Bloomsburg, Catawissa, all staying in the clear. We'll zoom out a little bit to see the bigger picture. Really not much going on at this point. We have some stray showers that we can't rule out for this morning. But I think most of us will stay dry, particularly for this afternoon when we will see a little bit more sunshine back in our area. Four temperatures not too bad, mostly into the 50s at this point. 54 at Hazleton Pottsville coming in right around 58, along with Wilkesbury Scranton. Williamsport at 56. So not a bad start to the morning. And these temperatures really not budging too much for today. We'll stay into the 50s, and then by this afternoon, we'll still continue to stay into the 50s, mid to upper 50s by this afternoon. Our average high for this time of year is right around 65. So we're still going to be well below average for what we typically see for this time of year. Now, if you have plans to go out for any Friday night football, you might want to grab that jacket before you head out the door for tonight. We'll see those temperatures dropping into the 40s, even some 30s into the northern tier around 9 o'clock for tonight. And then by tonight, we have our potential for first frost and freeze, especially up towards the northern tier. We will see those temperatures dropping into the 30s, even near the freezing mark by the time we wake up around 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow. So something to keep an eye out for. It is going to be quite the chilly start. Now, with these Colder temperatures, the fall foliage, we are starting to see a little bit more color. Right now, we have some patchy areas of some color, mostly in our area, but now with the weather starting to change a little bit, we are going to start to see those leaves changing quite a bit. Say if you want to walk the dog this morning, things are looking good. We'll stay with the clouds for the first part of the day. We'll see those temperatures right into the mid 50s and staying in the mid to upper 50s by this afternoon with a little bit more sunshine by the time we hit 4 or 5 o'clock this evening. Future forecasts will kind of plan out the next few days for you. Things are staying clear for today. We'll notice the winds kicking up as well. Some gusts up to 20 to 25 miles per hour, particularly during this afternoon. High pressure is in control for tomorrow, so things are looking good. The winds are not going to be as bad for tomorrow. We'll stay dry with a mostly sunny sky. Plan this forward for Sunday, the second half of the weekend, not looking as nice. We'll start to see a little bit more cloud cover, even our next rainmaker moving through. That's going to provide us with a few showers, particularly for the afternoon on Sunday. And this slow moving cold front is going to stay with us for the day on Monday, which is going to provide us with a good deal of rain for much of the day on Monday and even into early Tuesday. Your eyewitness weather forecast for today, we're reaching right around 58 with that cloud, to start, cloud cover to start before we give way to a little bit more afternoon sunshine shine, but it is going to be windy with those northerly winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tonight, it is going to be cold, so if you have plans to be outdoors, make sure you grab those jackets. But we are going to stay dry with a mostly clear sky, looking for our first frost and freeze, especially up towards the northern tier and the higher elevations for tonight. Your seven-day forecast, first half of the weekend looks good with a mostly sunny sky. Then we start to see cloud cover and showers for Sunday into Monday. Highs are into the mid-60s. For Tuesday, we still continue with the cloud cover, maybe a few showers, particularly for the morning. Then we'll start to dry things out by Wednesday and Thursday with sunshine returning. Highs are back into the mid to upper 60s. So you can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to your phone or tablet. Get that interactive radar onto your phone or tablet. It's always great to have, particularly with the second half of the rainy weekend we have in store. You can always find more at pahomepage.com. Chris, I'm really not ready for this cold weather. I'm Yesterday when I was driving back, it was 80 degrees back in my house by the DC Metro. And mm -hmm. as soon as I kept driving up 81, Temperature just went down to the 60s, the 50s, and the rain. Uh, I'm not ready. It's crazy, right? Well, even just Wednesday here, I mean, it was low 80s, and now overnight tonight, it'll be in the mid 30s. So that's about like a 45 degree difference. Yeah, it's in crazy. just a few days. Crazy. Yeah, All absolutely. Right, thanks, Logan. We'll be right back with.